welcome. Today, we're building with the Powerhouse 9800X 3D and pairing it with the Shrix RTX 4090, fully water-cooled with the biggest radiator that will fit in the Fractal North. From the components to installation and final testing, we'll walk through each process step-by-step step, right here, right now. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. The AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D is the fastest gaming CPU currently available and has a second generation 3D V cache that is now located on the bottom, below the cores, allowing for better thermals, higher bass and boost frequencies, and overclocking. The AM5 ROG Strix X670E-E motherboard uses an 18 plus 2 team power solution for the CPU. Let's start the build by placing the 9800X 3D into the motherboard. To cool the CPU, the AlphaCore Core 1 water block has a full brass top and a squarish form factor with one of its asymmetrical ports placed in the corner with a rounded edge. The block can be mounted in any orientation and the cutout near the bottom of the block allows for the mounting brackets to slide in and lock together. We'll continue by installing the four threaded bolts for the CPU block. From here, we'll use the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut Thermal Paste. Then place the core one block right on top, followed by four screw nuts, tightened in a crisscross pattern to apply pressure more evenly. For memory, we're using a low profile 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR5 memory in a two stick kit. For storage, we'll drop in a 4TB M.2 NVMe drive. For our fittings, for a clean look, we're using Optimus 16x10 Flex Compression Fittings in Satin Black. We're also using BitsPower Artemis 90 degree adapters and BitsPower Compact 90 degree adapters in black. We'll now drop into the CPU block a pair of Optimus 16x10 compression fittings. For the case, the Fractal Design North is a well-regarded ATX mid-tower that uses natural materials for a modern look and fine mesh ventilation for airflow. We can now place the motherboard into the case and secure it with eight motherboard screws. For the power supply, we're using an ATX unit. The Corsair HX1000i is a reliable, efficient PSU and is designed for low noise operation. Now we can attach the power supply bracket with four power supply screws. Next, we can plug in the ATX cable the 12 volt high power cable, the EPS cable, and the PETA cable. And from here, we can slide the unit into the case and secure it with two case screws. Now is a good time to plug in the CPU cable, the ATX cable, the USB Gen 2 cable, the USB Gen 1 cable, the system panel cable, and the front panel audio cable. For the GPU, we'll use the ROG Shrix RTX 4090 with the Optimus Signature GPU water block. This combo was one of the top performers in our 4090 water block showdown. On the back, we'll drop in a pair of Optimus plugs. On the front, we'll use a pair of BitsPower Artemis 90 degree adapters and a pair of Optimus 16x10 compression fittings. Now we can secure the GPU to the Fractal Flex 2 vertical mount with two screws. We're using the vertical mount to show off the front of the water block and flow path.
we can then insert the riser cable into the motherboard and secure the vertical mount to the case with two case screws. For cooling, we'll use the Alpha Cooled Nexos UT60, a triple 120 millimeter fan, 60 millimeter thick full copper radiator. Three Noctua NF-A12 by 25 fans will be set to intake air from the front with the beige color complementing the wood accent. Two Noctua 120 millimeter Chromax fans will exhaust air out the top and another will exhaust air out the back with the black color complementing the inside of the case. Using a pair of fan splitter to connect them all. For the pump, we're using the Aqua Computer D5 Next. Building upon the standard D5 pump, this one has an OLED display and also a fan output to directly connect and control fans. To house the pump, we have the Watercool Heat Killer D5 top and the Flex 120mm bracket to mount the pump to the radiator. Next, we'll drop a black rubber o-ring into the pump top followed by the D5 pump and the pump top bracket and secure it with four hex socket screws. And then attach a water cool flex bracket with two hex socket screws. Now we can attach the pump to the radiator with two radiator screws. Then install a Bits Power Artemis 90 degree adapter and a pair of Optimus 16x10 compression fittings. On the radiator, we can drop in a pair of Bits Power compact 90 degree adapters and a pair of Optimus 16x10 compression fittings. For tubing, Watercool Heat Killer EPDM 16x10 will be used in this build for its flexibility and stability. The matte black surface also provides a distinct and clean look. For this run, we'll connect the inlet of the D5 pump to the outlet of the radiator. And then also connect the inlet run of the radiator. This radiator is ready for installation and equipped with a mounted D5 pump that will directly control its fans via the OLED screen and front facing buttons. Now we can drop the fully loaded radiator into the case and secure it with 12 30mm radiator screws along with 3 Noctua NF-A12 by 25 fans set as intake. Connect the three fan headers to the fan splitter and also connect the fan splitter to the next D5 pump along with the SATA power cable. Here we can connect the 12 volt high power GPU cable. Next, it's time to connect the inlet of the radiator to the outlet of the GPU block and the outlet of the CPU block to the inlet of the GPU block. Followed by the inlet of the CPU block to the outlet of the D5 pump. Now connect the second fan splitter to the motherboard followed by two Noctua Chromax Black 120 millimeter fans as exhaust secured with eight fan screws. And the third Chromax Black fan set as exhaust secured to the back of the case. Then connect the three fans to the fan splitter. There we go, the build is complete. What is left is the fill and the testing. What we have here is the AMD 9800X3D and the Strix RTX 4090 fully water cooled in the Fractal North. Currently one of the most popular and well reviewed mid tower cases on the market. For cooling, the triple fan 60 millimeter thick radiator provides an outstanding amount of surface area in this size of case. And the Noctua fans allows for high performance with quiet noise levels. 
the D5 pump, even at lower speeds, will provide enough flow rate. And as an added benefit, the fan and pump speeds can be completely controlled using the screen. The fill is next. And for liquid, we're using distilled water with liquid utopia as biocide. For testing, the Alpha Cool Nexos UT60 is cooled by three Noctua NF-A12 by 25 fans in a push intake setup. Three additional Noctua Chromax Black case fans are used in the push exhaust setup. To begin, the fans and the D5 pump are running at a flat 40% speed, which produces a very low and near silent amount of noise. To obtain the results, 3D Mark Speedway Stress Test and Cyberpunk 20 77 benchmark were run with the Fractal North case completely enclosed with ambient room temperature at 21 degrees Celsius. In 3D Mark Speedway stress test, the GPU core and memory each averaged 64 degrees Celsius, the CPU core averaged 60 degrees Celsius, and the frame rate was 101. For the Cyberpunk 2077 benchmark, the GPU core and memory averaged 69 and 61 degrees Celsius, respectively, and the CPU core averaged 75 degrees Celsius and the frame rate averaged 89 FPS. Setting the fans and pump to 100% speed in Cyberpunk 2077, the GPU core and memory were both 9 degrees Celsius lower at 60 and 52 degrees Celsius, respectively. The CPU core was also 14 degrees Celsius lower at 61 degrees Celsius and the frame rate remained the same at 89 FPS. The components are cool at 40 or 100% speed. So from here, the fan curve can be changed to the user's desired sound level. So there you have it. Step by step, we built an absolute beast of a water-cooled PC all within one of the best cases, intended to sit on top of a desk as a quiet and high performer. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.